so hello everyone all sister lovers i am dr mohanil verma uh, from computational nanomaterials research lab in department of physics sri shankaracharya technical campus bhilai india so thank you all for uh, your love your encouragement your acceptance of uh, some of my lectures in this uh, youtube channel and today i am going to uh, include one more video lectures uh, related to some special topics and uh, as uh, i have mentioned earlier uh, i'm just now going through some questions and uh, some problems uh, posted by uh, different sister users beginners and uh, i am going to make small short videos and uh, to help uh, uh, those lovers <coughs> so now let me uh, present the topic so i am just sharing my screen and uh, so the today's topic which uh, i am going to include is how to compile sista parallel many questions i have received from this and this time going to introduce some fundamentals as well as what is script designed by one of my research assistant so these are some help some questions as well as help given by different uh, so this is that questions and uh, some good uh, solutions were posted by uh, different sister users and uh, the workers working in this uh, particular tool related to material modeling so i think uh, if uh, you are interested you can also go through this and uh, this is uh, that uh, terms r- related to parallel compilation of system so you can follow this also even uh, one uh, good uh, video i uh, i have observed in the uh, youtube channel and, uh, that is uh, where if you uh, how to install uh, install system parallel many times i mentioned this just make this youtube as well as google as a, a good friend to uh, learn sista so uh, these are some video lectures related to uh, installing sista parallel and, uh, and so this is also some sort of uh, uh, hands on uh, type of things but uh, i am making the same one then little bit different and uh, my motto is to help beginners especially so uh, let's start and also that uh, if you, you want to use uh, in the system manual uh, it is a uh, good documentation available in the web web page system web page so uh, you can use uh, system manual so so in this system manual when we go to this compilation page then it is well documented and uh, if you keenly go through this page and uh, try to work there will be one arg file and uh, that, that some this is that uh, parallel version one mpi what is this mpi and uh, uh, how you will use this uh, this is given in this and this is that modification in the arg make make file and you have to wait and this is the command uh, to run system so everything is mentioned uh, good uh, in this particular manual so enough help is available in uh, uh, different part in internet and uh, you can google it and uh, you can try to use this what i did here with uh, and uh, my one of the project fellow uh, narendra kumar uh, we have just uh, 
designed one uh, we have compiled all this uh, commands and uh, that information available in internet and uh, make one script and by using that script you can uh, uh, directly uh, compile sister in the parallel so that uh, i will uh, introduce here that script so let me uh, go to that folder where that script is available and uh, this is uh, that my demonstration folder where i have uh, some presentation related to my uh, different videos so this is that uh, folder and uh, this is that script for which i am uh, which is i am introducing here and uh, by using this script you can directly uh, compile that sister in parallel version and in this uh, this is uh, that narendra kumar and uh, is a project fellow and uh, he compiled all this accumulate uh, all this information and uh, this is especially designed for ubuntu and uh, so every related related terms are uh, accumulated here so uh, for the compilation of sista we need this m4 gcc g++ g4 so if that uh, ubuntu is uh, recently uh installed in your system in laptop your desktop in your workstation then uh, that compilation will start from this and then uh, this will create one um, directory parallel system where uh, automatically by using uh, this is scripted uh, this recent version will be downloaded and here this is for uh, system 4.1 b4 and uh, one thing here i would like to mention is uh, please check your internet connectivity and this is the important uh, important for, to run this because uh, each and every component of this script that will be directly downloaded uh, from the server so in between if uh, there is some interruption in internet connectivity then you have to start there will be one error and you have to start from zero so uh, make sure uh, that internet connectivity should be strong otherwise you can also uh, um, In, in spite of using this uh, script you can also uh, just use one by one uh, uh, commands by using your command window and uh, you can uh, install that system in parallel version and here i would like to mention here uh, i would like to mention is uh, that net cdf uh, part is also included uh, because uh, uh, this is very important uh, for transistor application especially and uh, in uh, this uh, system 4.1 b4 that system transistor can be used just by compiling this system only so net cdf support this is also included in this uh, script so these are the parts and uh, uh, everything is uh, being downloaded automatically uh, and uh, this uh, is related this this particular script this is uh, uh, designed by uh, one of the sister developer and uh, uh, just uh, mm, here it is uh, pasted uh, by that student so uh, These are the parts, and uh, after uh, that complete installation, and, uh, and also in this uh, particular in this particular uh, script, uh, some some post processing tools uh, like uh, uh, EIG two DAS bands and uh, uh, that uh, uh, root to XSF, XB to XSF, PM. dos and these are uh, it, these are used to uh, band plotting or band plotting dos plotting charge density plotting and structure analysis so using x crystal and the pdos plotting so these tools are also autom automatically uh, compiled and uh, uh, copied in uh, this uh, bin directory so uh, you can start using directly so this is uh, good for um, uh, system user and uh, Now that for the, especially for the beginners so here this is that basic uh, command available in the manual and uh, this arc make file is uh, modified by uh, uh, modified as per the requirement and uh, uh, just by using this make command uh, that uh, this uh, compilation is uh, in parallel version is uh, uh, finalized so this is the script and uh, if anyone interested uh, you can mail me or mail Uh, narendra kumar to get this script and uh, obviously uh, in that uh, scope of uh, improvement is uh, always uh, there so 
in case of a, if you uh, think there is need of improvement in this script, then just mail me and suggest your suggestion. Suggestions are most welcome. So use this script for the compilation, and uh, I have uh, used the, this script, and also many students of my group and uh, have been tested this script. But uh, in case of any error, uh, you can you can uh, just uh, uh, ask the questions report the problem and uh, if you're um, able enough then you can also uh, try to solve that problem and the command for this this is just a uh, three four steps command first uh, you have to open the terminal and uh, try to uh, if uh, make this in a binary form so you can use this in the first command this is the first command second uh, just uh, you have to use this uh, second command this sh command and this will uh, just uh, ask for the password then you have to give your root password because uh, uh, everywhere maximum uh, tools related to our libraries are uh, compiled uh, installed in from a uh, as the administrator or that uh, in the root directory so you need the password and in between you can also ask for some uh, sometimes uh, root command so I think this will help uh, uh, sister lovers uh, to learn uh, this, uh, to compile this uh, system in parallel mode. So I have uh, uh, actually this is a simple laptop I am using, and you can use this for your laptop and your desktop as well as a workstation. And uh, uh, here, just uh, after compiling, after using this, uh, you can just check. Uh, this process is complete or not uh, if there will be some problem obviously error will be I mean, sir, error will be given and uh, you you can try to sort that error yourself or post me or uh, uh, if it is completed then uh, just you can check by using this command mpi mpi run uh, uh, system so uh, if it's, a, um, it's uh, properly comp uh, compiled then the installed then uh, this type of uh, output uh, you can observe on your computer screen so this is just a simple i5 uh, laptop so there are two nodes are available uh, in this uh, part of the system so uh, for simple uh, 10 20 items you can use uh, that series version but uh, for more items you need to uh, use uh, that system in parallel mode so if you have uh, that uh, any workstation and having numbers of uh, good nodes then you should i recommend you should use uh, this uh, system in parallel version so i think uh, this will help you so and the command uh, uh, you know the command up to, to sister and in parallel version this is uh, uh, also so this is one uh, file available uh, to run uh, sister so just uh, you can use mpi run this command with number of nodes as i have shown you that number of nodes available in this laptop this is two so this uh, np2 and then in this uh, case uh, the binary file available is a sister but uh, in uh, that is script you you have to use that sister.exe there it is uh, converted to that so sister and then this uh, input file input file is uh, dot fdf so fdf and then uh, test dot OAT. So if everything is okay, this will uh, run and uh, okay. So this is that greedy distribution. To greedy distribution is mentioned here. So if number of nodes you have much more number of nodes, then the grid distribution uh, will be accordingly. So okay, I think uh, this uh, this may help this bigness and uh, uh, thank you all. Uh, for your support and uh, for your encouragement.